Hello friends, this is Seth of the Cygnus LPs, and in this episode we are going to continue doing the top floor minigames, I guess, since that's all there is left. Uh, I kind of want to start with Mara today, for no apparent reason. So, I mean, why not do that? And, yeah, she's all there, going, throwing flowers and stuff. Very typical, very typical indeed, Miss Cheerleader person. So our goal is once again to reach the finish line first. Hmm, I wonder if that has changed from the last few goals. Not in the least, but hey. Anyways, it's Mushroom Run, so we're gonna have a fun time around some mushrooms. Let's do that now, shall we? And hopefully this will be easy. I mean, theoretically, if these were all super easy minigames I beat on the first try, I could actually make this video the finale. But there's a good chance I won't do that, because, well, as we draw towards the end, the minigames will get harder, and if the minigames get harder, then chances are it'll be a heck of a lot more. What the heck? My point, jeez. Even though that was kind of just a trap that you're never gonna fail at again, if you know what I mean. One of those things that, it'll get you once, but it won't get you again. So chances are my next take of this, I'll be a winner. I will be like Waluigi, except less of a wiener and more of a winner. Speaking of wieners, I did say that these looked like hot dogs upside down, right? Not even upside down hot dogs, they look like upside right hot dogs. But note, they're upside down mushrooms, so upside right hot dogs equal upside down mushrooms. Yes, indeed, they do, and... Well, I could have predicted that, but that's okay, I failed really hard at the beginning. So it's not so bad, I'll beat it next time. So I get the feeling that now I know what to do, this will be a joke. I mean, a serious joke. She started crying, I can make this. No! You're kidding me, right? Kirby, are... Look at me in the eyes and tell me that you are seriously going to make me do this over and over again. Oh, this is going to be a joke now that I know what to do. Yeah, well, sadly, the punchline is me failing over and over again. Jeez. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool. We need to beat Carrie. I pick Carrie. So apparently this is Carrie now. This is not Mara at all. We're carrying her to the finish line just so she can beat us because that's logical that's what you do in a race against a cheerleader right wrong maybe i don't know she's gonna cry right there if i'm not mistaken so oops we won and now she has a reason to cry muhahaha goal this is like a hockey game or something i don't know anywho so this has been successful that uh, 130 beads too i do not know where i got the beads but hey i'll take them I mean, they just go towards some more fabrics, even though she's going to give us a fabric right now. So she's... Well, you are going to give us a fabric, right? J just say... Just checking, you know. Oh well, good for you, I suppose. Now to troll you, I'm not going to give you a fabric, because you'll have to try harder next time. Not me. I don't have to try harder next time. You have to try harder next time. I'm just kidding. Well, here's something for you, Kirby. Seriously. Alrighty then. She gave us our fabric, even though I was like all like wide mouth going... You're not going to give me my fabric? I'm going to get very mad at you. But we will not get mad at her today because uh, we need to have a rematch sometime, apparently. Yeah, totally. We need to have a rematch sometime. Next time, I won't take it easy on you. That's what they all say. And by all, I mean her, apparently, because she's the only one who says that all the time. So I can imagine voice acting this guy is going to be a very bad idea today because I'm, I'm a little phlegmy in the throat. But yeah, Tempest Tower... Back to Tempest Towers again. Um, uh, well, last time I did Tempest Tower, it wasn't that hard. Defeat 10 enemies in 35 seconds seems reasonable, about 3.1 enemies per second, I don't know. Let's do it now! So now. Alright, so the wind's blowing, of course, so we have to take that into account. I think what you're gonna have to do here is grab a Waddle Dee and go like this. Whoop! Kill him. You use your thing to kill him. Crush you, uh, not blow up on your friggin' stupid ultimate missile of death and stuff. That's not what I wanted. And now we're gonna grab him, kill. Oh, tss, tss, tss. not you. Go die. Thank you. See that? That wasn't so hard. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was expecting a lot harder to be perfectly honest, but that went by very smoothly. But you know what is not smooth? His death metal voice, which I'm going to have to enact right about now. So let's do this! We're all happy and stuff, and then he's gonna go, You put a quest on there, Kirby, I really press keep it up. I found a soldier out there doing last training fish and you wanted it. So now we went from happy to all headbanging, like, Yeah, alright, so totally metal. 
Yeah, that's what's going on right there. And we get the candy dot fabric. Once again, this guy, and even if he, even if I didn't make him a death metal singer, he's still obviously a really drill sergeant kind of guy. Why does he keep giving us these, like, all happy candy lollipops and rainbows stuff? I, I mean, seriously. Whatever. Keep practicing, I'm sure you'll be a good shape for the next training session. I somewhat doubt that because I'm pretty sure the next training session is going to be really hard but you know what if I was in shape this one hopefully that means I'll be in shape right about now so I can just do it again Cloud Palace and I don't think this is the last one by him surprisingly we get a lot out of him we have 16 already it's not even the last one I don't think so anyways but Cloud Palace is what we're doing defeat 70 enemies in one minute intense 70 enemies really uh, well, it's not even five stars, so chances are they're gonna be really enemy- re Really enemies, yeah, they're gonna be really enemies, they're not just gonna be pretend enemies, you know. This ain't no practice ground, this is the real deal in the field, man! But no, what I meant to say is they're probably gonna be really easy enemies to kill, so hopefully- Oh yeah, and we probably- What is this? Is this a star chariot? Yeah, star chariot. Well, you can't say star chariot makes things easy to kill, because honestly, we've already proved that it's like- it takes forever to kill friggin' Waddle Dees with a Star Chariot, jeez. But 70 enemies seems reasonable if you have a friggin' ultimate shooter of shooters. This is a first person shooter now. This ain't no second person shooter, st second person shooter. Yeah, because you know, in first person shooters, you only sh shoot one person. I'm kidding, I know what it means. But anywho, we're just gonna blow up this, and we got more of these bees, and I feel like I'm. Well, now we have the Waddle Dees. Yeah, it's hard to kill them. It's better to hit them with the yellow stars on the edge than with the blue stars that shoot directly out in front of you, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it seems like a thing that would be a thing, just because... I don't know, it seems to do more damage that way. I want to kill you too, so don't do that. I want to kill these guys, I don't care if i missing beads. You know what, you can just ram it... Oh, oh no, I forgot, you can't just ram into them. And, oh. See, this is probably why I failed, actually. And, and I'll get into why in a second. Yeah. Well, that was a big ball of nothing. So yeah, what I was going to mention is, uh, I believe in the last episodes I was saying, why don't you lose time, because you know how in uh, carry, and uh, not carry, uh, Mara missions, if you get hit, you just basically stay flat on the ground and you get stunned for three seconds. And I was saying, why why is she the only minigame where you're penalized like that? Well, it turns out you're penalized in all minigames if you get hit, because every time you get hit, you lose time. I never noticed that, because I was too busy focusing on the game, but I'm sure you guys are probably just going, oh, so now you know, because, like, it's so obvious, and yeah, I honestly never noticed until someone told me in the comments. So, it is kind of spoilers in a way, but, I mean, I would have gone through the whole LP without knowing it, so I guess it's kind of good that he pointed it out. Well, now that I've got that all explained, I guess it's back to the old drawing board of having 50,000 takes to cut out in a friggin' single minigame, because, you know, ugh, this, this buster guy and his death metal stuff, he's taking it too far, he's like, Hmm, well, you know, it's good enough that I'm seeing people die all the time. I, I like that and all, because you're, like, killing enemies for me. But now, what if I saw you suffer while you kill enemies for my entertainment? Yeah, what about that? That's, that's an even better idea, isn't it? No, it's not, you stupid, friggin' dumb death metal singer, and I forgot to kill those. Darn it! See, Beedrix is secretly watching this, and he's going, I have taught you well, young death metal singer, grasshopper person, yes, because that, that's like the name of his band, the, the sadistic grasshoppers. That's what's going on there. Anywho, we got more of these guys to kill, and the, I guess you kill the ones on the bottom first, because the ones on top are just going to fly down towards you, so it's going to be easy to get... Well, in a way, it doesn't matter which one you, which order you kill them in. Now, these bees, you want to get rid of them all, because if they shoot at you, and you miss them, and I got hit there, so I probably just ran out of the time I need, but yeah. Now, kill the waddle dees. Okay, I killed some of them, that's good. And, yes, more of these guys, more of these bees. Bees, I'm so tired of bees. Ugh, those, those cannon balls that you apparently can shoot down that I didn't even know you could do count as enemies, right? That would make things a lot better, but of course not. Uh, jeez, we're almost, we're almost there. We're almost there. Je darn, this is going to be a case where if I didn't get hit, I would have won, right? Je what? Yes! Alright, I, I actually did win. That's cool. So you actually don't have to bother with those pedo birds down there waiting for you with a terrorist bomb. Because they're pedo terrorists. 
the new ultimate evil in the world. So he's saying, yo, Kirby, there's stuff happening, but I'm going to have to voice act you in two seconds anyway, so I'm not going to bother reading what you just said there. You are not going to show there, Kirby, you're quite impressed, keep it up. I promise while you're out there, last training session, you want it. See, he even proves that he just likes to watch us suffer now, too, because, I mean, he said you put on quite a show there, even though we were clearly failing a lot, so apparently quite a show means mixing failure with win. Well, I guess that's the kind of show I'm putting on for you guys as well. So, anywho. Keep practicing, I'm sure you'll do great, great, good shape for the next training session. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why I added that, but it seemed very fitting in the context. And now I think I'm going to do Mera because I'm all bustered out. So, Mera, I need to burp, but now I am don't know if I want to burp, and it's confusing me. Anywho, Sweets Park, reach the first line first. The first line first. No, reach, uh, I don't even, even know. I was supposed to say reach the finish line first, but you've heard me say that a billion times for every one of these levels, so I don't know why I even said it. Let's just get on into it. So, we've got no sleeping Waddle Dees. I, I don't get to comment on the tiredness of the Waddle Dees nowadays, because I always cut out the loading screens. Like, the Waddle Dees need their time to shine, right? Yeah, well, basically, in this context, their time to shine means when they die. Because, muahaha, we love seeing Waddle Dees die, right? Anywho, we're probably worse than Buster, aren't we? Well, I'm glad that didn't hit me. I just kind of bounced into him. It's better than actually losing time and... Whoa, Mara's catching up somehow. Oh, well, she's going to stop there to cry. She's, she's going to have her emo moment, so that's okay. Going up here. And jump. Uh, don't want to get crushed by the friggin' cake. The cake is a lie, and you do not want to get crushed between lies. Because if you get crushed between lies, then you won't know what the truth is anymore. That's... A surprisingly good analogy for something that I just made up off the bat. No, no, jump over that. Thank you. No, 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 no. You're letting her get in front, Kirby. You're letting her get in front. Don't let her get in front. Don't let her get in front. And this this cake is gonna be in my way, isn't it? Grand, just grand. And she stopped right in front. No, I could have made it. No, no, no. How come she just stopped in front of the finish line? She was on the finish line and she just didn't claim it or something. I don't know. Take two. And take two. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I repeated myself there, but this is this is gonna get cut out, right? Because you know the mini games just had to get harder. They couldn't get easier as they go along. No. Well, to be fair, that would be kind of really redundant and pointless because if they got easier as they went along, well, then you'd have like a super hard game from the start, and you'd be like ripping your hair off, going, "Ah, how do I beat this?" And then you'd keep going in the game, and you'd go, "Oh, well." This is boring in comparison, jeez. And, yeah, I didn't wait down there le le this time, so I guess that's a good thing. And wow, I'm, I'm making use of all the shortcuts now. So that stutter at the beginning will actually have to show on screen. Anywho, what's up there? Mara's all the way back there. I almost feel like just fooling around and going, Oh, well, you know, I'm going to do exactly what she did, but... Oh, wait, that... The finish line's... Oh, it's up here. Okay. La 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 la, I'm doing exactly what you did, and you're gonna show up soon. No, no! It's mine! <laughs> I, I, if it glitched out and I would have lost that, I would have just... I would have cried. I would have cried like Mara was crying with her. I'd go, How did I lose the game? <laughs> I give up. I'm a over the... Anyways, so now, because we are not crying, I guess we are going to talk like a teenage girl, because that's how she talks. Oh well, good for you, I suppose. I'll have to try harder next time. But here's something for you, Kirby. I don't know how that even remotely sounds like a teenage girl, to be honest. Apparently, all teenage girls are comparable to Midna. I don't even know. You found the cookie cookie f cookie cookie fabric. That's that's not redundant at all. It couldn't be like the good cookie fabric or the cookie pastry fabric or no, no it's the cookie cookie fabric. Yeah. We need to totally have a rematch sometime. Next time, I won't go easy on you. And that she won't, cause jeez. I'm just gonna check it out here. Yeah, Th three stars. Jeez, the, the heck you won't go easy on me. Oh, anyways, now I guess it's time to do the customary shopping at the end of the mini game video because that's fun. Fabric shop. All right, what's up in the fabric shop? We've got really pink fabric that does not look good to me at all. But I don't know if you guys like that, then that's all up to you. 
We've got this red cotton fabric that looks like it has weird yellow lines weaved into it. I guess that's just what cotton looks like according to this game, or maybe it's my bad TV, who knows. To be honest, a lot of these look like they have random yellow lines through it for no reason. Like this checkerboard fabric. I mean, checkerboards aren't supposed to look all weird lined and stuff, but whatever. I guess it's just a uh, red and black checkerboard. I don't know why it's not red and... I mean, black and white, but... Eh. It, it adds style, I suppose. And the sky blue fabric. You'd think the sky blue fabric would be actually sky blue and not just a mixture of dark blue, light blue, and white in square format. I don't know. Just just a thought. Green felt. Well, that makes a bit more sense. Angry blue are angry blue. Yes, this is a very angry blue. If you see this blue, it makes you angry. It's like th this blue is to humans as red is to toros and stuff. I don't even know. Aqua quilted. We've got some quilted aqua. That's cool. And finally, this black cotton fabric that once again apparently cotton does have yellow lines running through it or those lines look actually more white i guess cotton is just an overall liney thing yes liney that's an adjective right something that has a lot of lines through it is very liney whatever i will stop being liney with my speech and i will end off the video right now well you thought i was going to keep talking i said i was going to end it off now wait i just did crap